Hi guys, my name is Mary Andre and I am a bride to be and this is my wedding countdown. Countdown to my countdown to our ideal wedding. Of course, things may go wrong and things aren't always perfect, but this is my countdown to the wedding and I basically want to keep this as a keepsake for memories and of course just to share with you other brides out there who are probably losing their minds and slowly turning into bridezillas and just tell you that it's okay and it's just a matter of how you handle things because things may go wrong but it's just about your resiliency and how you handle the things that happen that obviously you can't control. So, first things first, since this is my countdown to my wedding, and my wedding is about four months away, to be exact, it's April 25th, 2009. <sighs> I feel like it's so close, but yet so far away. But the main thing is to get stuff done, and to be as organized as possible. See, I have this lovely, handy dandy, the ultimate wedding Work, workbook and organizer. Okay, so it's, check this out, it's like a workbook. I love the way it's upside down, right? Okay, so it's a workbook. You can keep organized, document stuff, and of course it's a lovely labeled accordion folder as well. I keep all my documents, all of my receipts, everything. Very, very important to me. Okay, so that's the most important thing. You have to be organized as a bride to be. You also want to have a checklist. I have this checklist that I've been going through as far back as, what is it, nine months? So you want to have a checklist, go through everything, and try to be consistent with getting stuff done. Um, I haven't fully done everything yet. The main thing is booking the site for the wedding, the actual wedding reception and the ceremony. Those are obviously what the wedding consists of. And of course, my wedding dress. I got that probably two weeks after I was engaged. That was back in January, yes. So that was like, all right. The first thing I had to do was get the wedding dress because I wanted to build a whole theme around my wedding dress. And my wedding dress is so different and so crazy that I, I needed to do it. I really wanted to. And it's going to be very exciting. Some, it's definitely going to be a, a shock factor type of wedding dress. But it's going to be very exciting and I love it. So My colors are pink and black for the wedding theme. So that's exciting as well. I want to do very like floral and majestic and beautiful. But just remember you can still do a wonderful and spectacular wedding and still have a small budget. You can have an amazing, outstanding budget or you can have no money, recession money, and just just as long as your heart's in it and you do the best you can, hey, and hopefully you have a lot of wonderful people around you helping you plan this wedding because it can get overwhelming. Uh, just stay organized, like I said, and you'll have lots of fun. Okay, so I booked my baker. And I'm so excited because I love food and I love cake. So that's one of the most exciting aspects of the wedding to me. I'm going to get to eat uh, a lot of cake. That's what I want. So this is what my wedding cake looks like. My fiance actually picked out the design. He's so cute. You know, why not give him something to choose? Have some input in. Why not? It's his wedding too. But so this is the wedding cake. It's really, really cute. It's going to be pink and white and have flowers on it. It's so delicious, too, on top of that. I love it. I also have an outstanding florist. He's amazing. The work that he can do is just outstanding. I haven't, have not, shame on me, booked my photographer yet. It's just one of those things where I keep putting it off, and I know that I can do it, but I'm pushing it to the limit. By four months, I should have booked that by now. Some people book their photographers a year in advance, two years in advance, six months in advance. Here I am, it's four months prior to my wedding, and I still don't have a photographer. Very frightening. 
And that is a very important aspect of the wedding too because you want to look back and be like, wow, I love my pictures. Oh, look at the memories. Oh, look at Victoria dancing. Oh, you know, look at my little flower girls just twirling around and doing all the crazy stuff that little kids do. Just, oh, yeah. I haven't done that yet. We're going to get to it, hopefully. It's just we've been busy. It's the holiday season. I've just been putting stuff off, and it's just one extra thing to have to pay out for. I know. You can't be cheap when it comes to photography. That's just so important. Also, what have we not done yet? We haven't booked our honeymoon yet. I figure four months prior to, we probably could get a good deal. I'm not going to stress it. I was looking at Travelocity, Expedia, there's been a lot of different deals for Cancun, Cabo, Dominican Republic, look, as long as I get a vacation out of this, I'm fine with it, and I don't have to shell out massive dinero while I'm out there. I'm okay with it. What else? Ooh, we haven't narrowed down our guest list fully, it's just, it's the fact that I have a lot of friends and family and he has a lot a large family as well trying to condense that his family's list my family's list our list trying to condense it it's a lot of work and also tracking down your guests people that you haven't spoken to in months trying to get their address trying to do that that's that's very challenging and i feel like if you can plan a wedding you can do anything in life, honey. Because <laughs> it's just so much work and there's so many details involved. But you have to do it if you really want your wedding to be special. And just remember, ladies and gents out there, a wedding is not about the big hoopla. It's not about how much you spend. It's about who you're marrying and the significance that you're putting towards the effort and the commitment. Just don't forget that. That's, that's ideal. And ladies, also, don't do anything drastic. Clearly, I had to cut my hair off a lot of it because I was doing a lot of different things with color. You don't want to do major drastic changes to yourself physically before your wedding. Six months, five months, four months. Try to maintain your cool and just keep yourself natural as much as possible, if that's possible. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want to have to chop off all your hair before your wedding. Well, it'll grow out. I have four months. So I'm not worried. But just saying, you know, physically, don't try to do anything drastic. And remember, your fiancé is marrying you because he loves you for who you are. So don't forget that. Also, what else haven't we done yet? We haven't booked a limo yet. That's important. I figure we have time, just as long as we do it before prom season. Uh, and it's a new year, so hopefully we'll be able to be more on top of these things. Uh, what else have I done yet? I have my florist caterings involved. That's awesome. Just maintain your cool, stay focused, and love yourself. That's very important. And it's exciting. I mean, as much as it can be stressful, it's very exciting too. So I'm going to keep you guys posted with everything that I'm doing. Stay tuned and peace and love.